Hi there, I'm Jess Bunnin. I'm here with the Craft Shack with you today. I'm here in the Craft Centre in Bourne, um, where you can see some of my items for sale. We've got a workshop going on in the background. So I'm going to be showing you how to decoupage uh, an item today. So let's get straight to it. So, sort of materials that you'll need for decoupaging. Um, you'll need some brushes to paint with glue on. So you can get several different sizes and gauges of brush. This is just a small decoupage number four brush there. Uh, number five brush. Um, so you want to make sure it's a nice soft bristle brush. Um, you don't want to rip your paint when you're painting your glue on. So that's just a small one there. Or, um, so like I say, so I need to make sure it's nice and soft bristled. Um, just any sort of home DIY brush um, will work fine as well. Um, yeah, you also need a ruler to measure out your box and your papers. Um, some scissors. Uh, I've got some small scissors there if you've got little intricate bits to, to cut, or just some standard size scissors there. Obviously, some items to um, to cover. So obviously, we've got a chest like that that I've already done. Um, it's a nice piece there. Doesn't have to be a box. It can be just a uh, a standard um, like decorative piece if you like you have to be a little bit careful these ones are a little trickier because there's a lot of intricate pieces you have to try and get into there um, but today I'm going to be showing you how to decoupage a box like this so you've got your paper um, several different types of paper you can use so you've got this one that is um, quite a thin paper, a little bit difficult to work with, but has a lovely pattern on it there. We're going to be using this one today, which I've already started to cover it here, as you can see. So I would recommend that you get an official decoupage glue, as they are thicker than PVA and they add a nice gloss. So you're just going to, I've already cut out the top piece here, it's just as simple as. Um, I like to just pop it on there, trace around it with a pencil and then put it down. So once you get to this stage, quite simple, you'll just, I like to cover it in sections um, rather than putting it, all of the glue down, you'll find that um, some of it will dry quicker than others and then when you come to sticking the paper on, it might not be wet anymore. So this, this glue tends to dry quite quickly. I like to stick it in sections like this. So I'm just covering a little piece here. And then I'm going to line up my paper. And then I'll fold it back and go under it with the rest of the glue. So you can see that this box is in pieces at the moment. So it will look similar to this one here with the, the clasps and the um, hinges on the back. But I like to take the hinges off as you find that it's easier to get a nice clean piece of paper on. Otherwise you're trying to put your paper around the hinges. It's quite difficult to do that. So I'm just gonna flatten it down. It's quite important you try and get it as smooth as possible, and my creases that might show up. Although, um, putting creases in it can be a, a feature. So underneath here I have pleated around the corner there. So you could, you could actually add that as a feature. Almost done here. So once you've grown your whole sheet on, then you want to go over the top of the sheet with glue as well, and what that'll do is add on a nice sheen to the piece, and it'll also help secure the paper on so that it doesn't rip or tear. Yeah. 
and this will dry clear as well but it's nice to see it so that you know you've not missed any bits make sure that you're making your brush, brush strokes one direction because they will show up as well once the glue has dried and there you have it you've got some excess around there so I would say once the glue is dry go in with your scissors or some sort of wood or nail file once the glue is dry it takes those excess pieces off nicely and then you can screw all your hinges and that back on and when it's done it will look something like that I hope you enjoyed this craft show quickie today. I'll see you again soon. Bye.